All right, now I've sewn the placket on this side and on this side, and now I'm ready to put the trim down on this piece of placket. Run it up here like this, which I'll do the same way as I did uh, the other parts of the trim. that. All right, so now I'm ready to sew down all of this trim, um, both, both parts, front and back. All right, I have sewn down all of the trim, and I finished sewing this placket section here. Let's make sure this is on the, so that it looks like this. And this is where the snap will go, and the second one can go here. Now we, um, this is the front. On the back, now we need to put the applique. I'm sure, I got all the pins out of this. So this is where I want my applique to go. Right about there. And again, I'm going to put it down with stitch witchery. I put several pieces in both directions. You could pin it down and then slide the stitch witchery underneath just like they do with the trim, but I'm going to do it this way. under here. Now I'm going just to sew around it very carefully just inside the edge either with the matching thread or a clear thread. Um, I'll probably use the, the bur matching burgundy thread here. And then we'll be ready to do the edges. All right, now the applique is put down. 
all the trim is put down. The next thing we need to do is to attach the two pieces together. Now, we're going to use French seams so there'll be no raw edges. And French seams are wrong sides together. So we'll turn it to the wrong side. And we will turn this to the wrong side. and match up the shoulder seams. Now it's more important it's more important to have this part from the neck to this banding meeting than it is for it to come all the way to the edges to meet exactly. If there's any extra at the edge you can trim it off. But you want these two pieces to meet so that when your seam is done you'll have a nice um, finish there. They won't, they won't look like that. All right, so the wrong sides together. Match up the edge here. And see if these meet. And see, they don't quite meet. The pattern should match. And I'm going to match the patterns. You can always trim neck and edge. It's not, but you want these to meet. Come on. All right, so my pattern is meeting now, so these should meet. I'm going to pin those together. And when I sew this, I'm going to sew I left about a half inch seam allowance. I'm going to sew about a quarter of an inch in and trim off half of that and then turn it the other way and then sew the other quarter, uh, quarter of an inch. All right, let me do the same thing on this side here. Pat me, match my patterns. And if I do that, because I use the pattern as a guide for the trim, my trim should meet. Okay, now that meets, so now I'll put the pins along the rest of the edge here. on the other side too.
going to, this is my seam allowance, it's about that long, that Y is about my seam allowance. I've trimmed this, the trim off about half of that so that when I turn it the first time I won't have all of that trim in the, in, in, in the um, seam. But when I tr turn, when I sew it the second time, I will have caught the edge of the trim. Um, I did that on all the edges. Uh, so, all right. So now I'm going to sew this and show you, and then we'll turn it and do the second seam on it. All right. I've sewn this edge. I'm going to trim it now to about half of what it is. Carefully, you don't cut it too close to your sewn line just in case you cut the threads and then you will have to all sew the whole thing over again on both sides. All right, so now we're going to turn it um, I find it's easiest if well, you're still on the on this side, you push, you push this to one side. It doesn't matter which side. I'm going to push it toward the back. Then when you go to do the uh, when you go to put the second fold in it, uh, it will it will um, meet easier. Now we're going to do right sides together along the same line. And because I pressed it, it's it will easily meet here, and you can easily find the line. Again, you can look at it, you can see where the 
the raw edges in between them, you're, you're going to be sewing double that, a quarter of an inch, that's about an eighth of an inch, you were going to be sewing a quarter. And that will encase, what that does is it encases the raw edge inside the seam. So that you won't see, this is, it, the, the inside will be like this, and the outside will be pretty much like that, just with a flat seam. You want to make sure that you're going to catch everything. And that's why I trim it down after the first cut. Uh, sometimes they don't, you know, people don't tell you to trim it down. But then you have, sometimes you have little pieces of the raw edge braid parts sticking out through the seam on the other side. So I find it much easier, less trouble if I trim it. Put more, put more seam allowance on it if you need to and trim more of it off. Before I sew this, I'm going to press it. Pressing is an important part of sewing. If you never learned that. Sew it and then show it to you. Okay, I'm finished sewing it. I'm going to now press the seam open on the right side. Now you can see on the wrong side, it's no raw edges. And if I did it correctly, there should be no raw edges on the side either. What I want to make sure is that I did catch the trim here on both sides. Does not quite meet there, but it is on the shoulder, won't be seen. All right, again, you wanna press the seam either to the front or the back, and I'm going to press it to the back. Okay, let's see here. All right, I'm gonna press this from the wrong side first so that I don't get these This is the back, so pressing it to the back. And the same with the other side. So now we have nice shoulder seams. And we can start the edge trim. 